A lame duck session for the Illinois General Assembly opened today and will continue through the weekend. One of the items up for discussion is law enforcement reform. News 3's Madeline Parker joins us live in the studio to explain why lawyers and law enforcement find issues with the proposal. Mark, House Bill 163 includes two major changes to how law enforcement is conducted in Illinois. First, cash bail would be almost entirely eliminated. And qualified immunity for law enforcement officers would also be removed. Local law enforcement in our area say that these changes have the potential to harm the public. It's important to note that uh, while we support proper reform, there are things that are deal breakers. Jefferson County Sheriff Jeff Bullard remains outspoken about the proposed criminal justice reform bill, saying lawmakers did not consult law enforcement when drafting the proposal, causing the bill to contain policies that could endanger the general public. Anything that threatens public safety, anything that jeopardizes officer safety and reform, we will oppose. If the bill passes, two major policies would be in place. Calling it an abolishment of cash bail, it's not quite that. It has some exceptions, but the other is qualified, eliminating qualified immunity for law enforcement when they um, engage in misconduct so that they could be sued. SIU School of Law Associate Professor Jennifer Brobst says cash bail disproportionately affects lower income communities. And as a former prosecutor, it was heartbreaking to see somebody sitting in jail for months on something that probably would have never gotten a day in jail if they had been convicted. So it's simply at that level wrong and how it's implemented absolutely disproportionately impacts low income people predominantly of color. However, Brope's degrees a new system must be put in place for accountability rather than eliminate the system altogether. But the problem is is that if you eliminate bond and don't provide a sufficient alternative, will people commit other crimes? Probably. Sheriff Bullard says if cash bail is eliminated in Illinois, the state would operate much like the juvenile court system, which he describes as broken and flawed. It has very little accountability or consequence for juvenile offenders in this state. And to turn the adult model into a broken model like the juvenile justice system is a horrible mistake and certainly does not protect our community. Both Brobst and Sheriff Bullard say that the criminal justice system can be improved, but this legislation has the potential to remove law enforcement's ability to protect the public and create more tension. Live in studio, Madeline Parker, News 3.